What's up, beautiful Taurus? Super excited to have you here. Thank you for tuning in. And hello if you are here for the first time. Um, I am Charity. I'm from the Netherlands. And I will be giving you your energy reading for the month of December. This is going to be your last month of 2019. Last month last December of this decade, right? So we're going to tune in, use the cards, look at the overall energy, going to give you some channeled messages, look at the light side and the shadow side of your energy or the energy of this month. Then we're going to go into some relationship aspects, the um, work energy, the health energy, and the healing or the steps that you can take for this month. And you can use this reading, Taurus, for your sun, moon, or rising. Maybe even for your Mercury or your Venus, uh, if you want to look into your love life a little bit. Um, and, of course, if you're cross-watching for a loved one, don't forget to switch up the roles. So, let's tune into this energy. All of a sudden... I feel like I have bitten my tongue and um, it hurts on the side of my tongue. So I kind of feel like some of you Aries might have um, um, some communication issues or some um, situation where you just move out of where you have to had to either like hold your um, hold your thoughts or feelings or emotions to yourself not able to express it to other people or with other people you maybe you just needed to bite your tongue a little bit um, and I kind of feel like you're done with that though um, but yeah that was what I just felt physically when I was tuning into your sign uh, and the beautiful energy that you're giving me, because I kind of feel um, a little flirtatious, I kind of feel a little joyful, kind of feel a little light. Uh, so I feel your energy is very, I like your energy a lot. Um, I kind of feel like you don't have that much of communica issues with communication because I kind of feel like it's flowing a little. Like, I, I kind of feel like it's going. Um, you might not be very sure all the time about. Um, and the way you communicate or things that are happening around you but that's no big issue um, when I looked into your energy I saw you reading an extremely large book and when I'm talking about an extremely large book I'm talking about in the length I saw you reading a book that almost came up to here and you were reading it in a library and you were on the last chapter of the book and um, I saw you um, reading it until the end. Um, and then I saw you going to the next floor with the elevator to go to the next big book. It was especially a big book because there were a lot of small books there too. But you chose the big book again uh, or a big book again, not the same big book, a different one. And you started reading again. Uh, sorry, I had, a, had to scratch my nose. Um, but yeah, that was what I saw. And when I tuned into that energy and kind of were thinking about it, it kind of felt to me like you were ending a very big cycle. Uh, um, you are either at the brink, the end, the uh, the ending, the the closure. Um, um, I almost, here's also the the moment supreme of a very big. I kind of feel like life lesson, a very big life lesson, or a very big thing that you are ending. This could be something that is of great importance for you, and the ending is actually a good thing because I kind of feel like you read this book, you know it inside out. Uh, you were the uh, the star player in it, um, but I kind of feel like um, the book also, I don't want to say disempowered you, but it all, all it kind of put you in a position where, sorry, it kind of put you in a position where I kind of, what did it, what fell out, yeah, the warrior fell out, um, but it kind of gave me the feeling that it wasn't, the story you would actually envisioned yourself in. And I kind of feel like now you are elevating yourself, going up with the elevator, and I kind of feel like you um, will be going to a better version of you, a book that, has, that tells a better story. Yeah, I think that's it. I feel like you're going to a book that tells a better story about you. Why is the screen so... not focusing on me so putting it like this because I really want you to see the card so um, yeah I saw you with a big book 
I definitely feel like you're upgrading. That's definitely the energy that I'm getting here. I feel like you gain a lot of knowledge from this cycle. And the big book, uh, because I saw you going into a new big book, I kind of feel like you're going into a new big cycles or a new big beginning, a new very big situation happening there for you. Um, I see it's not going to get any sharper. My camera likes the candles in the back a little more than my face today. So, let me see what the energy is for you, Taurus. Okay, we got the beautiful strength card. Yes, and there's a killer whale on there. Um, I kind of feel like looking at this energy also with the triangle reversed, um, it's kind of giving me all type of fight, all type of vibes. When um, that's really strange, how was it? When I tune into your energy, I had to reset my mind for a moment and my connection with my guys, universe, whatever, all, all that's bringing me info. I feel like you are going to go after something that's very big for you. So yeah, you're definitely going to put your 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 all your energy towards a new goal, new beginning, new start, new new dream, new focus. Um, I see you doing things with family members. Um, maybe some of you will be um, creating uh, um, something big with a family member or with family members. Or you, as with your family, are moving out of a very big cycle. Um, I kind of feel like it also has to do with breaking something. I kind of feel like you also have to defend something. So you might be defending some sort of energy. You might be defending some sort of... Um, uh, situation you might be defending yourself but I feel like because when I look at I, I often look at nature nature related documentaries right and uh, there's one documentary I think it's on Netflix where there's this mother killer whale that's swimming around with her child and doing the most insane things to make sure that her child is nurtured I kind of feel like you will go all out to create your best life you will go all out to go to the next level you will go all out to finish this book and when I look at the library energy I, when I think about a library I think about your life experiences I think about your subconscious mind so I also think that there is some big cycle ending in your subconscious mind where you are moving into a new state of being new you type of energy you're very serious about this too um, I kind of feel like I'm getting chills all over my body like not just my arms but also like my breast and my my feet and my legs I feel like um, this is a very big thing for you and I kind of feel like you either feel like you're now more in alignment or more happy than you have been before or you see things more clear and what I'm noticing right now when I look at the screen um, is that I feel that the camera has sharpened up a little bit too so I kind of feel like it was a little foggy in the beginning and now things are starting to get more clear to you. Um, also, um, uh, with the strength, with it saying strength, I kind of feel like some of you had to endure a lot during this last cycle. Um, you gained and built a lot of muscle, mental muscle, emotional muscle, spiritual muscle, some of you physical muscle. Um, maybe a little bit of all. That would be a very good thing because then you would be all round buffed up. And you kind of need that. Not because you need to fight something in the next next book but i kind of feel like um it will help you get more momentum on your success that's what i'm getting here more, more momentum on your success yeah some of you um are i'm hearing some of you are going to a breakup or some of you are very focused on relationships or your relationship but i'm hearing overall most taurus energy is focused on getting ahead moving into uh, a more luxurious more luxurious more luxurious state of mind gaining knowledge building businesses building empires so let's see now what the overall energy is uh, when i'm looking at the light side and the shadow not the overall energy but whatever um the light side and the shadow side of your energy looking at the light side i'm looking at um things in your in your um things from your higher self uh, your perspective of, of things being positive or favorable, your conscious mind, the things that you are aware of. I kind of feel like you need to take a little bit of a step back every now and then 
to make sure that you are not going too fast in order to gain all the knowledge or all the information that you actually need or seek to move forward. So some of you might be rushing into something. Don't rush. This is not the month to rush. Um, at the sh uh, shadow side, I'm looking at all things in your subconscious mind, things that you are not aware of, things that you are suppressing, um, but also things that are um, less favorable or things that you look at as maybe negative or not nice. I don't know why I keep dropping these cards. Oh. Okay. Um, the energy that I got for you, beautiful Taurus, when I'm talking about the light energy, I'm talking about number 69, community. And then we got, uh, in the shadow, we got number 78, and it says, seeing the one. It says the future, though, and over here it says, uh, association of worlds, uh, parallel. And it says Earth here. Um, okay, so when I'm looking at the light side of things, um, like I said, I feel like you're coming full circle. I kind of feel like this is also a very collective thing. Um, so I kind of feel like you're either very influenced by the uh, vibration of the collective or you're changing things in your community or in your collective or for the collective or maybe even in your family because we, we saw family, I saw family before too. Um, um, I see the changes you're bringing at least are not just changes that are good for you but I feel like you will be upgrading multiple people um, multiple people will be um, benefiting from whatever you're trying to create here whatever you're trying to accomplish and maybe for some of y'all might not be creating an, 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 a, a world health organization or whatever uh, something like very big but maybe it's just you following your dreams or you just thinking of like you know what I really love to draw let's let's just pick up drawing now and do what I what I feel like is good for me what I like what I enjoy this also will inspire other people and will bring healing to them on different levels so whatever the area may be that you're choosing to embark upon whatever the book may be that you choose to open next this will be beneficial for the collective this will be beneficial for your family this will create a lot of balance um, I, I kind of feel like it's you're very Action, um, action focus this month though, but I also see that it, it I kind of see that there's some separation there in the energy of the community with this. Like, I feel like there's sides there, um, um, but I kind of feel like you might be bringing them together, or you might be the glue, or there's something that you are doing, um, that's changing the situation. The issue at hand may be an issue of belief systems that are being. Uh, challenged or that's an obstacle to create harmony between um, belief systems right some people might be living in their bubble and I kind of feel like you have been living in your bubble at times too but now you will be moving forward in the shite, sh shite. <laughs> in the shadow side uh, of your energy we got seeing the one and um, I kind of feel like you might be too focused on details or you might be too looking at uh, too much looking at, into things where you kind of need to let go of certain things in order to move forward um, if you're going to look at um, the entire um, spelling grammar of the book you will be taking a lot it will be taking you a lot longer to read the book that's what I'm getting it will be taking you a lot longer to read the book if you keep analyzing every sentence and if you keep looking at where the um, where things are written in the in the wrong context or whatever um, I kind of feel like you need to intuitively read this book and put it to use um, especially when you're storing it in your in your library is what I'm hearing storing in your subconscious mind that's what it means for me um, so yeah, you will be mastering yourself with the seven here. So you will be mastering with the ending of the book, of course, uh, the ending of the cycle. Um, and then you will be moving forward. You will be moving up. I kind of feel like you will choose to you, pick up on a different karmatic path. That's what I'm feeling and kind of what I'm seeing. So with the eight here being all about karmatic, I kind of saw you um, karmatic, but I kind of saw you 
then from an eight moving into a nine, not not following the same pattern. So that's the energy that I'm picking up on for you overall when it comes to your month, beautiful Taurus. Let's just move into your relationship aspect, the, the way uh, things will be playing out this month for you when it comes to your relationships. Um, and when I'm talking about relationships, I'm talking about love relationship, twin flame, soulmates, but also family members, um, child, parent relationships, friends, co-workers, and the relationship you have with yourself. What the energy, um, overall energy will be. Keep in mind, of course, Beautiful Taurus, this is a general reading. This is not a personal reading. This is focused on uh, the overall energy of Taurus. Use... To your advantage, whatever resonates and whatever doesn't resonate, release it. Might Some things might make a lot more sense at the end of the month. So for some of you, I might advise you to, to look at this halfway of December or at the end of December again. Not for all of you, but for some. So when I look at the cards that I draw, uh, drew for you when it comes to your relationships, we got in Dutch here, it says a speelsheid. Als je de romantiek uh, romanti wil doen herbeleven, laat dan de levenslust van je innerlijke kind de vrije loop. That's a very long sentence. In English it says a playfulness. Um, if you want to uh, reconnect to your romantic side, you need to um, let your inner child um, enjoy life and let it just be free. And um, then we got patience and planning, um, number seven with the two pillars here. And I kind of saw this now. First, what first came to mind is very interesting uh, polarizing energies, very playful, very childlike, very free, very careless, and then very serious. Um, and then when I tuned into the pillars, I saw um, the seven pillars. And I, I I don't know if the book was the book of, uh, of Jim Rohn or if Jim Rohn was reading this book. But there's a book called The Seven Pillars. I kind of, some of you need to look it up and maybe need to read this. It's a very interesting book when it comes to mindset, when it comes to um, uh, personal growth, personal development. So there might be a message there in the book for you. I know... I don't think you can buy it everywhere still, but it might be a thing for the library to pick up on for you. Um, but when it comes to your relationships, um, I see that's very important for you to not be so serious. I definitely feel like you're in a very serious energy also. I kind of feel like you're overthinking things a little bit, but not too much, but analyzing in the like almost the right amount, but you're very serious too. I kind of see some flutter. Fl 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 <laughs> flirtatious energy there for you too i felt that in the beginning already i felt very light-hearted like very like hey taurus i'm excited <laughs> that type of energy and i feel like it's very important for you to um have this um energy also connect to your um relationships in yourself, I kind of feel like some of y'all need to address the inner child thing and definitely need to like let loose a little bit more, not be so serious, not be so overly planning and focusing on the rest of your life. Of course, it's important to do so. But at times, I kind of feel like what I felt like, um, don't rush. I feel like as soon as you rush or as soon like when I'm in your energy, I feel like as soon as I rush or overthink, Things start slipping out of my hand and things start going um, a little bit foggy. So whenever things start to get a little bit foggy, yes, slow down, but also get a little bit more playful in your relationships, right? Um, so you definitely need to focus on making, some of you need to focus on making a certain partnership, maybe the partnership with your child, uh, mother child, or with your parents, um, more stable. Um, I kind of feel like you need to have, uh, interesting, and you need to have a little bit more patience. Um, you need to have a little bit more patience. Sorry, I saw uh, an energy move there. That was where I was. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I saw an energy move there. And the, the feeling the energy gave me was um, that um, there is some like, there are some, there are some clashes going on or there has been a clash, clash going on and someone holds some sort of resentment. Um, I kind of feel like it's a feminine 
feminine energy so it might be a mom uh, or a grandma or a sister or a daughter but there's like a very strong feminine energy it could also be of course a man with a lot of feminine traits but there might be some issue some uh, some headbutting with this person and i kind of feel like you need to have a little bit more patience with patience with this person and there might be a way you can go about this maybe a little bit more playfulness maybe a little bit more lightheartedness that will help you bring this relationship to a next level or address what isn't working and move on yeah so that's what i'm feeling for you when i've looked into your relationship energy now i will be moving into your work and when i'm looking at work beautiful taurus i'm looking at your job, your business, your higher purpose, you serving your purpose or living your soul's mission, um, studying, financial growth or stability, material energy, but also being of service for the world, the collective, all that sort of good stuff. Gaining knowledge. Yeah? So what will the energy be for Taurus when it comes to this? For the month of December 2019. Thank you, please. Yes. Do another card too from this deck. I'm hearing be a good sport. And I kind of, if I have this correct, it's kind of like you need to be... Playing along with the game this month when it comes to your work. Kind of need to put a little bit of water, by, uh, water, in, <laughs> water in the wine. Kind of need to find a middle ground there. Sorry. That was a really like Dutch, Dutch saying gone wrong in translation. <laughs> yes. That took a long time, didn't it? I felt like I needed to take some time. So when I'm looking at your work career energy, we are getting career change. And this card is saying you are embarking upon a career that brings you joy and abundance. The or brings you the joy and abundance you deserve and desire. See this lighthouse here? Then we got sports. Ask for support and the feminine energy that I just felt like coming in. Um, so yeah, looking at your work, career, energy, uh, I kind of feel um, that uh, some of y'all, um, the, the little bit that I just talked about with relationship might also be applying to colleagues for some of y'all or um, um, some sort of maybe teacher or, or mentor or um, boss, but I don't want to say boss, manager business owner yeah i think so um um i see you changing things up i see you i see you shifting um making some changes in your career or your direction that you're moving into and i kind of get the feeling with the lighthouse in the back that it has to do with your purpose with shining your light with being who you are supposed to be in this world so i kind of feel like you are moving ahead but i kind of feel like you're moving ahead very thoughtfully very some of you maybe even slowly because of course the big book uh, takes you a long time to read the book right but now you have gained a lot of knowledge and i kind of feel like some of you will be supporting other people with making certain direct uh, decisions when it comes to their life path their work their career their um their studies or their finances getting finances uh, i feel like uh, some people are are having a lot of issues keeping their head above the water and it might not be all of you tauruses but there might be someone surrounding you that is asking for your help asking for your support asking for you to be their lighthouse to show them the way to get out of a certain situation for some of you i definitely also feel that it is time for you to stop doing things by yourself on your own i know you are a very strong soul we got the strength card here too right did we yeah um 
<laughs> for a moment I was like, mm, didn't I just mix that up with another reading? Uh, no, you have been a very strong soul. So I feel like you also have a lot of like things that you have been doing by yourself or carrying by yourself. Now it might be the time. Like some of you are very like, you are lighthouses. You are light workers. You are light shiners. You are healers. And you have been giving so much of yourself, even though um, I feel like you also uh, are able to care for yourself and take a step back. It is also... Uh, a very strong suit for you this month to ask for help when you're not able to figure things out when things seem a little bit unclear or you're rushed into something and you kind of feel like you cannot back out of it um, and feel like you need to be a good sports um, you don't need to do anything that doesn't resonate with your soul okay so I really want you to keep this in mind that you don't have to do anything you don't owe anyone anything um, except for yourself this is your book. This is your story. This is your life. You get to choose. Yeah. So this is what I definitely feel for you when it comes to your work energy. Let me get a sip. I took a sip. I looked at myself and I, Ooh, I look like my daughter. <laughs> Might be some mom things going on here for some of you Tauruses. Some mother-daughter things happening. There's a lot of possibility for healing and reconnecting or recognition there. My heart lighted up when I, I looked at myself and I saw, ooh, I think a reflection of my daughter. Now we're moving into health. Looking at health, I'm looking at your, your spiritual, mental, emotional, physical health. Um... And if you can think of any other form of health, that one too. Maybe your pet's health. What will December bring this beautiful Taurus people? Can you show us please? Thank you. Oh. If you like this reading, please give it a thumbs up. Share in the comments if it resonates. I would like to hear. I got for you, beautiful Taurus, Sisterhood of the Rose. And it says, beauty and devotion, priestess, a mystic, and teacher. Then we got the news. Um, out of the deck felt claustrophobic and happiness. So what I'm feeling um, when I'm looking at your energy is you're moving into, um, when it comes to health, you're moving, especially mentally and emotionally, you want to say you're moving into a better space. I kind of feel some things will be ending for you. Um, you might be fed up of, 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 about certain situation and choose to go about things in a different direction. I feel like you were able to... And let the situation, uh, situations or the energy that life threw you um, teach you a certain lesson. I feel like you were bef you were like really focused on um, going inward and 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 learning, growing, and not like repeating certain patterns, health patterns also like physical, but also mental. I kind of feel like um, her head is her, her her mental space is like. Uh, circled. I feel like it's also protected by a lot of people. So I kind of feel like some of y'all might have felt like a lot of influences from other people and were just like, no, I, I want to make up my own mind about certain things. Um, um, with the claustrophobic energy here, I kind of feel like some of you felt like you had no way out of a certain situation. Um, and this month, I definitely feel like there... It, if you have, if you felt like there was no way out, maybe some of you might have battled with depression and thinking about, mm, I don't know if I want to do this any longer. Um, I kind of feel like this moment is teaching you something big about your mental health, but not just your mental health, but also on a spiritual level. And you will be moving out of this situation with the happiness, with the luck, with the joy card at the end. I feel like you will be happy uh, with the way your life is moving into. And I kind of feel like um, whatever has changed you uh, for good or for better, it has been, it will be for good yeah so, yeah 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 um so you yeah, see <laughs> sorry inside joke um but i definitely feel like um 
um, so e either if the situation was um, something you perceived as uh, negative or, or hardship or painful or like depressed energy, it is happening to you or it was happening because I have to say happened and was happening. I kind of feel like it's moving uh, into a new direction. I kind of feel like it, um, it helped you become the person you supposed to be i feel like embracing yourself i kind of feel like you are priest priestess i kind of feel like some of y'all are very mystic i kind of feel like some of y'all are teachers the lighthouses that i just talked about and i kind of feel like this is a, a very important era for you that's what i have to say to you a very important era um, that you will be moving into so whatever happens in the last chapters in the last like book the new book you're moving into you're going to embody a more leadership role beautiful taurus if you like it or not you will either do this consciously or things will happen and move in a certain situation um, without you knowing it or without you wanting it. People will still look at you as a leader, will still look at you for answers, will still look at you for certain guidance, inspiration or whatever it may be that you bring to the table, beautiful Taurus. Now I will be looking at the healing energy for you this month. This could be steps that you need to take in order to move into a more favorable position. Um, and any other last words. Or things that may come up for healing. Thank you. We got the moon card here. The moon talking about your unconscious, sensitive and inner emotions and responses. So I kind of feel like um, there will be a lot going on on the inside uh, when it comes to you. Um, there will be a lot of things that will be revealed when it comes to your subconscious mind. Uh, things will be brought to the horizon. Things will be brought to light. Um, there's a lot of inner changes going on. Introvert introvert energy going on also of course when i think about the library it's very silent it's very very retreated it's very you doing something not really a very big group event thing uh so there's a lot of a lot of you doing things for you this month um on a subconscious level or with your subconscious that doesn't mean that you will not some of you will not be going like outward and moving outward but i definitely feel like there's a lot of inner emotions that are being addressed when it comes to your healing we got burning bowl ritual we got looking into the stars and we got beauty rituals so yeah definitely pamper your, yourself this month take good care of yourself we also saw this with the health card uh, with the sisterhood of the rose that says beauty too so definitely make sure that you feel good in your own body maybe some sensual flirtatious sexy energy there um that you can like um um embody more um take more care of yourself especially when you have been taking care of everybody else i know how it goes as a mom as a as a business owner as a as a um, you know like a light worker a, a partner a friend uh, you often uh, put like a lot of people in front of you and now kind of feel like you need to more focus on you taking care of your nails your hair make yourself feel good about yourself when it comes to your manifestation game i want you to focus on your passion i want you to focus on what you want to create and make sure that you uh with this this the fire of destruction d destruct change shift everything that's no longer in the stars for you everything that you need to shift some of y'all need to look at some astrology there maybe look at your your sun um, um moon your moon especially your moon some of y'all need to look at your moon sign so after this, go look up your natal chart if you haven't yet and look at your moon sign. This is your reading, beautiful, I'm going to leave you with. Um, I hope you liked your message. If you did, let me know and I'm sending you a lot of good energy and blessings. See you next month.